Good afternoon, Coach. How are you doing today? Hi, Nikki. Thanks for having us. Real well. Awesome. Well, welcome to HSBN Media Days. Coach, introduce yourself and the players you have here today. Hi, I'm Jason Hamilton. I'm the head baseball coach at Cardinal Gibbons High School. Uh, this is senior George Stringos. He is a commit to Barry University, a right-handed pitcher. Uh, this is Jason Vasquez, a senior that is currently uncommitted, uh, but will be playing college baseball someday, either on the mound or in the field. This is senior Mike Cass. Uh, he's a UCF commit as our right-handed pitcher. Excellent. So coach, over 20 years, Coach Annette Gibbons here, Please share a little bit about what this school and team means to you. Well, what the school and team really means to me is is everything. It's basically how I live my life. Uh, we take a lot of pride, our coaches and our players and our families in our school to begin with. Um, the idea of tradition in high schools is kind of a thing of the past. We're fortunate to go to a school where we, we believe in tradition. We believe in the history of our school. We talk about the history of our program. Uh, it's embedded in our kids. Um, and when we talk about, when our kids talk, they, 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 they realize that. And in fact, um, it means so much to us that we really believe that the pride that we have in our school and the tradition that we have in our school wins us a couple extra games that we probably shouldn't in the spring on both levels, both our JV team and our varsity team. So uh, it's, it's on the back of our shirts, uh, pride, tradition, family, service, those types of words are things that are really important to us and we don't say it, we live it. So that's what we're all about there. Excellent. Well, that's and as, as a player perspective, how does that translate into the success that you have you know, on the team and how you guys are motivating each other. Um, it gives us a lot of confidence and it helps us come together as a team and just perform to our best ability. It's embedded in our program, so we've been doing this ever since we were here as freshmen, so tradition means a lot to us. And it, it does, like as he said, helps us win games and will continue to help us win games. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing the same, like, it's the same tradition that many, many years of teams have been doing, and it's just a good, like, foundation, and it brings us together, and just gives us that boost we need to uh, win ball games. Yeah, all players, all coaches know how important team chemistry is to providing a winning season. Can anybody say anything, a few words about the, the team chemistry of the Chiefs, and how you look forward to implementing it throughout the season? you know, in terms of veteran players, seniors coming back, freshmen coming up through the program, about gelling the team. Can I'll, I'll start and they yeah, can they sure. can comment after sure. um, you know I, the team that we have presently it reminds me a lot of the team that we had in 2016 where we had a good bunch of older kids and then we had freshmen that were starting in the lineup this is probably pound for pound the most deep the, the deepest team that I've ever had in my career and that's saying a lot because we've had a lot of good players and a lot of good teams um, at our school for a long time um, it's, it's just that our, the, the, the younger kids that we have in our program have, have given the old timers here that have been through a lot, uh, whether it be through injury, which all of these guys have suffered in their career, um, they've given us energy, they've given us a boost, and um, it's something that us old timers in the program needed, needed after going through much over the, over the last four years. So um, we're very excited about the quality of depth and we're very excited about the chemistry, the, the, the great, great mix of old and new, young and old that we have in the program right now. Um, yeah, just like coming through all four years, being with everyone, it's been a lot of fun. But um, the young guys, even in the inner squads, giving us a lot of competition. And even yesterday, going through all of that, it, it's, it's cool to see like the young guys come in and perform. Yeah, excellent. And last year, you guys advanced into the regional playoffs. How valuable was that playoff experience for the guys who came back this year? Player um, perspective, huh? Um, from my point of view, I wasn't playing last year from injury, but seeing that group of guys play and make it that far, it was nice to see. It kind of gave me a playoff more of an experience. And I'm just, I'm ready to be back there and I'm ready to play. I also was in the same boat as him. I, I was going through injury, so I, I couldn't play, but being there and just seeing the team compete, I just, I think they gave them confidence and it let them feel like they could be there and that we're going to be back there and it's going to be the same situation and we're going to have a different result. So not being able to play is making you more hungry this year, isn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's a hundred percent. Yeah. Last year's team was devastated by injuries. Never in my career have I ever had our top five pitchers not being able to, to start a year. Um, some people don't, don't realize that the top of our lineup, the one, two, three hitters in our lineup were awesome. They're all college hitters right now, but the number four hitter in that lineup 
was this guy who tore his ACL in a fall game on a freak accident. So we went in without our number four hitter, without five, literally five of our best pitchers. Um, and I said that we were going to take our lumps early in the year and be, but be ready to play at the end. Um, a guy like George that w was counting on to be, you know, a two-way guy and, and be our number maybe four or five guy quickly became our number one guy, and that helped us ha helped him tremendously in his development um, and his experience, which helped a lot of those kids, which this year, I mean, we're raring to go, as I'm sure that we're going to talk about here in a second with uh, some other questions about what's going on with our team dynamic. Okay. Just for, for one question for either George, Jason, or Mike, you know, as Coach Amel said, this, the season is a grind. It's a long season. We all know that. It's a major commitment you've made. How do you combine your studies and your own personal life with the, the major time commitment to high school and, and college baseball? Well, everything's like, for me, everything's like, a balance. I mean, you can't have too much of anything. So if you just divide your focus and you're not you're not focused on one thing too much, it's not it's not too bad. Uh, senior year, it's 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 easier for us. It's uh, junior years it was a little harder, but for us seniors, it's doable. And as long as your mind's in the right place and you're not you're not doing stuff you shouldn't be doing, you, you're going to be good. Excellent. And and coach, we're talking about the roster too. I mean. On paper, it looks very balanced. There are a lot of pitchers. Will there be chances for everyone to split the innings, or you have some guys taking on these lead roles? Talk a little bit about I always look forward to starting a season. If there's one thing that I'm not looking forward to this season is trying to answer the same question of how am I going to get all these guys innings? You know, how am I going to get all these position players? I mean. Uh, George mentioned an inner squad that we've had the last couple weekends. We're running two good varsity high school teams out there at each other against each other. Um, and, and that's one of the hardest things as a head coach. And any head coach will tell you that one of the hardest things to do is to try and find guys playing time. I mean, it's the worst. How do you keep a substitute on the bench, you know, happy when um, there aren't that many games to begin with and innings to go? I mean, I think we have 30 pitchers in our program. I think we have 30 arms in our program right now. I'm not exaggerating. There's 30 kids that can throw and that that can throw varsity innings for us that even the young kids are are, are willing and, and, and are, are good enough and they have shown that in, in, in the inner squad. So um, that will be a real challenge <laughs> this year. Uh, well, but it's a good challenge to have. It's a very good problem problem to have, which we don't experience every year, obviously. So. Excellent. And Coach, let's talk about your schedule, who you guys are facing this year. Yeah, I mean, one of the main reasons why we were able to get into a region last year, I mean, we lost the we lost the second game of the day. We didn't get to the district final. I mean, we played a tough game against Heritage Del Rey, but our strength of schedule, I believe, pound for pound, I, 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 I didn't look at the stats, but it's one of the top top 10 schedules in the entire state of Florida, all classifications. We play everybody. And that is the reason why we got into the region last year uh, was because of our strength of schedule uh, when, when you consider our record wasn't that great. Um, you know, we always want to play the best. It, it, it really doesn't matter. That's why we're going to pace, you know, in a couple weeks for the classic. That's why we're in the, the an imitational against everybody and um, trying to play as uh, we want to play the toughest schedule possible during the year so we by the time playoffs come we've already played and experienced all those uh, moments that come into a, a game where you're where you're highly competitive high energy and um, playing a really good team so that's what we try to put our kids through in the regular season to prepare for the playoffs and for the players I mean, are there certain teams that you're looking forward to face for your senior year here I mean well, we, <laughs> we definitely have some team scheduled um yeah, some teams, some tough teams, like you could say, like Douglas, Heritage Del Rey, who we lost to in the district semifinal last year. We definitely have those teams circled on our calendar. We're ready to play them. We're ready to show them how good we are. Yeah, like more local teams like Pinecrest and Pompano. I haven't really gotten to play them in um, my high school career, but we got to play them this year, and I'm excited for that with a lot of friends on those teams. Excellent. And, Coach, you have talked about you know, that – you were hoping that teams would be allowed to play more than 25 games. It's an interesting topic. Would you mind telling me a little bit more about your thoughts with that? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a high school baseball traditionalist. My father was a high school baseball coach. Um, and it, it seems as if, you know, high school baseball is taking a backseat to travel ball programs. And um, unfortunately, that, that's real. That, 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 that's the reality of it. Um, I don't personally. I don't like the idea of playing 25 games in the spring when compared to you know the state of Iowa or, or the state of Idaho or you know North Dakota where those kids are playing you know 30 and 40 games a year in the spring and our kids we're in the baseball high school baseball mecca of the world and our kids are playing 25 games. I mean there's there's a couple times during the year I, we, I think we probably have one game a week. We're playing. We have one game a week scheduled right now for for one week uh, and we have. 
13 varsity arms that need to, to pitch in that seven inning one game that week. So um, yeah, it's tough. I'd, I'd, I'd like to open it up and I'd like to have more games. Um, but obviously we're, we're kind of handcuffed by the, by, the, by the FHSA on how many games that we can actually play, but that would be my reasoning for it. Right. Okay. Well, Coach, sum us up. What can we expect from Gibbons ball club this year? Well, if you, if you play baseball or athletics at Cardinal Gibbons, you know, ever since 1961, there's always high expectations. Um, and if you don't have high expectations for your season, then you shouldn't be doing it. Um, I think that you can, um, I, I think that we'll be a very fun team to watch. I think that um, we're still going to, you know, play baseball like we always have. Um, this year, I think that there's an added hope and an add of added energy to our season at the beginning because I don't want to say that we are 100% healthy because I don't want to jinx anything, but I'll just say that we are extremely, extremely healthier than we were uh, at this time last year. Um, looking forward to getting you know a couple of those young kids the experience up the middle. Um, looking forward to having the older kids play and rally behind the younger kids and the younger kids giving our older guys the energy that we need and, and keep them going and keep them on their toes as far as competition is concerned. Um, I think the strengths of our team obviously is our pitching, is our depth, our overall depth, but, but specifically our pitching depth. Um, because we have some big time arms that a lot of people know about. I think that's the word in the street about Cardinal Gibbons baseball right now that everybody knows we have the arms. You know, what are we going to do defensively? What are we going to do offensively? But I think that we will surprise some people um, with, with what we're going to do offensively and then obviously getting some pups, some defensive experience. I think that once it all meshes, um, I, I don't have to say this year, you know, get us early because you're not, you're not going to get us at the end. I think that we're going to be a balanced team from the start from the start, which is a little bit different from the last couple of years. So we're all excited. We're ready to get going. And we're tired of beating up on each other. We're ready to play somebody else at this point in the year right now. So I talked to them about that yesterday. Excellent. Well, the best of luck this season. Thanks for being here today. And um, we will see you on the field. OK, thank you, Nikki. Appreciate thank you. it.